Um, hello everyone, I am Avad Sa, I am dedicated functional consultant in 2D365. This is my YouTube channel. Over here I am sharing my, ex my uh, implementation experience with you all. So in today's video we are going to discuss about the database log and how one can enable the database log and which are the mandatory and advisable database log uh, one can enable uh, for, a, uh, for a better use of the system and uh, to have a better audit trail and uh, track the transaction and record and uh, record and master of the uh, track the record masters of the company which are the important masters of the company that we'll also discuss so to start with directly what we'll do i will create a database log into the system uh, so you can able to know how we can enable the database log in the system for particular uh, particular table and particular field so we have an option to enable the database log for a table and also we can enable the database log for a field wise so what we'll do we'll go to the system admin in system admin uh, we have a setup in setup we have a database log tab in database log tab we have a database log setup so once i will click over here i uh, this is a uh, uh, i mean by default database log enabled by the ms so what i will do i will click on new here here, here it is uh, here they will give you one message that uh, it is advisable to enable the database log on non-advisable non-business hours otherwise it will impact your business do you want to continue so yes uh, we can continue uh, then um, then uh, this wizard will open and i, I will uh, i need to click on next So once I will click on next, you can see all the table of, uh, which are in the system standard table. Uh, we have uh, they are uh, they are a part of this table and fields. So this is our table details. Once I want to go to into the detail, I can enable the uh, this is module. This is my table uh, general account and this is my uh, fields. So that's how we can uh, enable the. Uh, enable the database log for a table particular suppose I will click here this will enable for this uh, particular table and relate all related the fields right uh, but suppose I want a field wise uh, database and uh, I can also enable for a field uh, for this aging period is my table from that table only for I can enable the database log for this particular uh, field so uh, this we can do uh, so now I'm uh, suppose uh, if I want to um, I want to show all the table in of the system then I, I can click here then you can able to find out all the tables in details even uh, even you can find out the table names here from here so that's uh, these two thing you can use but right now what I'm doing um, I'm going into the general ledger. In general ledger, uh, main account, I think so, it's also important table. If someone edit your main account, your all the impact of the finance will be changed. So what I will do, I will enable the database log for a main accounts. So it, it is a, um, this main, uh, so in general ledger, uh, this is main account table. So I want created by created data and time modify by and modify data and time and account ID is there main account ID so this and even main account category also we have option yeah, I'm right now uh, enabling on for only one uh, table. Yeah, uh, it is always advisable uh, to enable the database log which for a field which are the very important. So once we will click on the next, you have a option uh, that um, for which uh, area you want to, I mean you want to select for a 
main account um, update uh, track new transaction so I will click on uh, this main account uh, fields and I will click on update so if someone update anything in this main account I, I have a I will able to know okay then I will click on uh, into next and I, I need to click on finish and I will I need to click on uh, yes so I have a message that uh, this might impact your uh, performance right uh, so now I'm able to enable uh, main account related database log so what I will do I will uh, go to uh, general ledger in general ledger I will go to uh, chart of account into chart of account accounts and in accounts main accounts so I will create here a new main account Eleven uh, HDFC Bank account. Here I will select asset and main account category is cash and cash equivalent. Okay. So even what I will do, I will change. Uh, here uh, this current asset to cash and equivalent now what we'll do we will go into the database log so in system admin uh, we have a uh, inquiries and in inquiries uh, we have a uh, uh, we have an option of database uh, if I will click uh, on database we have a database information and database log so I will click on database log you can see here um, I have only enabled the uh, I, I mean I have only enabled the database for a update so uh, when I have created new transaction system have not created the database log but when I am updating the updating the transaction current transaction system will post the database log and you can see the created by and all the database uh, I mean I, all the information system will showcase here so this is a uh, creator uh, user ID and this is uh, this is uh, th uh, you can able to see the date and time for uh, 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 I mean who has lastly changed this uh, main account so you have all the uh, details so suppose uh, someone is changing and altering your important data you can uh, track it out from enabling database log so apart from this uh, we have a uh, one more uh, feature of system log so over here if I will go to the sales and marketing in sales and marketing setup uh, we have a sales and marketing parameters if I will go to the sales and marketing parameters there is a transaction logs so what system will do system will track all the transaction related to this uh, uh, these areas so what I am doing right now I am I'm enabling uh, this for a customer okay uh, so uh, let me check what impact a system is doing track changes for customer so what I am doing I am going into the customer all customer so you can see here uh, from here also you can enable the transaction log 
as transaction log are not advisable to enable but we have a option into the system from here you can enable the transaction log so I have enabled for a customer I am going into the customer now I am creating new customer Tata Motors uh, User Group As a main customer I need to I think so change It is already there somewhere Tata LXC Ok And yes Uh, so this customer is saved into the system uh, generally uh, I mean trans transaction log is not advisable by the Microsoft but Microsoft have given this feature so uh, uh, so we can see the transaction of the sales and marketing in inquiry and reports we have a history and if I will click on transaction log so we can uh, see the transaction lo log of the um, uh, of the Tata Alexi, I have clicked uh, multiple times save, so it has sa uh, saved two time. Okay, uh, and here you can see that uh, worker name is also there. So that's how a uh, system will create. Uh, even we can f uh, filter out uh, uh, from day to days and worker wise database log. Right, uh, so that's how, how uh, even system have enabled the transaction log for a few particular areas. So uh, again, I'm showcasing you. Uh, I I I am I need to go to the setup in sales and marketing parameters. In transaction log, I can enable the database log for this particular area, and uh, this is a tra for track new transaction and track deleted transaction for uh, both of them we can uh, see this and here if I will go to the transaction log yeah uh, if I will go uh, to the here in record info yes there is a blank database log so it is not saving into the database log but uh, this is a something different table Microsoft have provided for a transaction log so for a database log we can able to enable date wise that we have enabled and we have showcased that uh, for a main account uh, we have used a database log and also we can use the transaction log uh, for this particular area for sales and market uh, through sales and marketing parameters so it is ad al always advisable not to use transaction log for a high frequent high number of transaction uh, like uh, uh, vendor uh, I mean vendor invoice customer invoice general ledger entries for this particular of the transactions it is not advisable to log uh, enable the log uh, that will impact your performance and apart from this uh, I have a list of the uh, transaction where we it is advisable for by Microsoft to enable the uh, database log first is related to the security right security roles duty and privilege uh, it is advisable to enable the database log for the same and the purpose is to uh, to manage our user access right if someone uh, changes the role then it will become a problem uh, license cost will might be increased and they have a un uh, undue advantage of their uh, uh, necessary securities then uh, if someone changes the general ledger accounts and balances then also it will become a problem then uh, we can enable the general ledger transaction log then inventory trans also we can enable for inventory table and trans uh, it is advisable not to uh, do for a trans better to just enable for inventory table customer table vendor table and uh, tax table
and also we can enable for a workflow so that's uh, it these all are important database log we can enable into our system and uh, so this is all about um, uh, security I mean database log and transaction log into d365 I hope you like this video thank you all for watching this video